In this math talk, we're addressing how to deal with double signs when working with integers. And in particular, I want to ask sort of that quirky question, what is really happening when we subtract a negative integer? But before we answer this, I want you to consider this first. Looking at plus positive 17. There we have double signs, plus positive 17. What I want you to think of is this addition sign here as being equivalent to adding. Whereas the positive for the 17 implies that this number here is a gain, and that goes back to our uh, introduction to integers when we talked about gains and losses. A positive integer is considered a gain. So if we're thinking about a bank account and we add a gain of 17, and we wanted to represent that with just a single integer, in other words, a number with a sign, I think you would all agree that that is equivalent to a gain of 17. So positive 17. So adding plus 17 can be written just as positive 17. Now consider adding a negative 17. So once again, the plus implies adding, and the negative 17 now implies a loss. And I don't think there would be any debate again if we were to add a loss of 17. For example, if you're a company and you have a loss of 17, you add a loss of 17, well, that's equivalent to a loss of 17. All of this seems pretty obvious, but what I'm trying to get at is the fact that we can condense the two signs, the plus followed by the negative, into just a negative. Now we're ready to start talking about subtraction, and it looks like this. Now consider what happens when we try to subtract positive 17. In other words, the subtraction I want you to regard as removing. And the positive 17 we've already said is a gain. So if we remove a gain of positive 17, I think most of you would agree that removing any kind of gain you've made is equivalent to a loss. So we would condense that to be just a negative 17. So subtracting a positive 17 is equivalent to just a negative 17. And so we would regard it as a loss. So now you're ready to examine what happens when we try to subtract a negative number. Well, once again, think of this as removing, that leading negative sign as removing, and we said that a negative 17 is a loss. So if you think about, again, a bank account, if you remove a loss, if you take away that loss, that would be equivalent to a gain. So in summary, a loss occurs whenever you are trying to add a negative or subtract a positive. So adding a negative produces a negative or subtracting a positive produces a negative. And that's both of these situations. Now, the flip of that is that you are gaining any time you are adding a positive or subtracting a negative. So plus plus is plus, minus minus is plus. And so that was the case with these two situations. And it's that last situation, the negative negative 17 being a positive 17, which now we've sort of worked through and reasoned through. Now, let's see how we would make use of this. Take a look at this question. Write with single signs and then evaluate. And my expression is plus negative 10 plus positive 15 minus positive 11 minus negative 3. I'm going to do this one at a time. I look at that plus negative 10. The plus negative, which is adding a loss, I summarize or I reduce to being just a negative 10 as a loss. It's a negative 10. The plus positive 15, that's adding a gain. I regard that as just a positive 15. Again, two signs that are the same end up being positive. Now on to subtract positive 11. Well, that's removing a positive and so or removing a gain. And we regard that as a negative 11. And finally, we have the removing of negative 3. We would regard that as a positive 3. Now something that I like to do is take my integer equation that is now down to 
single signs and gather all of the negatives together and all of the positives together. So I would reorder them to look like this. And then I combine all of the negatives into a single negative or a single loss. So negative 10 combined with negative 11 will be negative 21. And then I combine the positive 15 and the positive 3, in other words, all the positives together, into a single positive. And I would regard that as positive 18. So now, in terms of gains and losses, I have negative 21 followed by positive 18, or a loss of 21 followed by a gain of 18. Well, if I'm thinking of something like money, losing $21, then gaining back 18, I'm still down, I'm down $3. So the result is, from this long integer expression, a value of just negative 3. So now, let's try one more. So we're going to write with single signs and evaluate again another expression. Now you'll notice that in some cases I have two signs, in some cases I have one. Watch how I deal with this. Well that leading 8 from earlier videos we understand to be a positive 8. If I don't write a sign it's just a positive 8. So the first thing I'm going to do is just leave that 8 as it is. Now the negative or the subtract of that 11 in brackets. Again, I understand that 11 to be positive. That's removing a positive. That minus sign is removing. The 11 is positive. Removing a positive is equivalent to a negative 11 or a loss of 11. Then the adding of the negative 14, that's adding a loss. That's a loss of 14. Then follow that up with the removal or removing, subtracting, of the loss of 20. So subtracting negative 20, that's equivalent to a gain of 20. And then finally the plus 7, or the positive 7, is just as it is. There, there aren't two signs to deal with there. Once again, I gather all the negatives together and all the positives together, so I just reorder my equation. I gather all the negatives into a single value, so negative 11 and negative 14 combined to be negative 25. The positive 8 the positive 20 and the positive 7 combine to be positive 35. A loss of 25 followed by a gain of 35, I'm now up. And so I will write my answer as 10. And once again, I didn't write in the positive in my final answer because I understand that 10 standing on its own has a positive sign. That is a positive integer. That's really how to work double signs in a nutshell and in particular, how to deal with subtracting negatives. Um, see you in the next video.